We are here at the Hunting Island State Park, getting ready to go to the visitor center here. Here's just a little marshy area. There's a sign uh, saying that it's unlawful to feed the alligators, so I'm assuming there's alligators here. This has been one of the most beautiful drives into a state park that I've probably ever seen. It was uh, just a winding drive through some uh, palm trees and just like we were going through a jungle. Just a just a beautiful area. I've seen to, seen a lot of zoos that we visited over the years that didn't even compare to this as far as the drive in. So we'll go through this visitor center and see what they have here. But this is just an incredible, incredible place. Um, we we'll go to the beach here in just a little bit, but you can see what um, see what it looks like here. All right, we're set up. We're gonna do some pictures here at the boneyard, they call it. Um, all the driftwood that's come up on the beach here at James Island, or not James Island. I was in James Island down here last year um, at the Hunting Island State Park. It's, uh, it's high tide at the moment, so some of the driftwood is probably underwater. Uh, according to the park ranger, if you come back maybe in about five o'clock here in three or four hours, um, we'll be at low tide and you can see a little bit more of the driftwood. But still, I'm seeing enough and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's pretty cool. So I want to show some of the motion of the water. So what I've done is I put on a circular polarizer filter. That way I can take some of the glare off of things. And I've also put a two stop neutral density filter on the lens. Um, I'm going to shoot in mirror lockup mode on a 10 second timer um, just so that I can keep the camera still. I'm shooting at an aperture of f22. Now that's not my preferred aperture. I really like shooting at f11 or f16 and I can, but I'm really wanting to close the amount of light down so that I can show some of the motion in the waves. So between that and a, I'm running an ISO of 50, by the way. On a Canon, you can set your ISO as low as a 50. I'm, I'm shooting with a Canon 5D Mark II. So between an F22 aperture, an ISO of 50, a circular polarizer filter, and a two-stop neutral density filter, I should be getting just a, a shutter time just long enough to be able to show some motion in the waves. So let's see how this turns out. What an absolutely beautiful sight. Just waiting for the waves to crash through the driftwood here on the beach. Um, taking some slow shutter shots, trying to catch some of the motion of the waves. I'm taking a few shots where I'm trying to show the, you know, the waves splashing. But just, just an incredible place to be out here on Hunting Island. Um, these are probably some of the larger jellyfish that I've had a chance to see at any of the parks I've been to. I'm looking at two of them right now. Um, these are these are some real whoppers, so I sure don't want to touch one of them. I'll, I'll turn the camera right over where you can see it. Check out this uh, this tree stump. I imagine this is from the hurricane that came through a year or two ago. Uh, this is a big old fella right here. Watching the waves come through it, that's pretty neat. I'm not used to seeing that on a beach. We stopped by the Sea Eagle. I'm looking at the sign out the window. The Sea Eagle Market and Good Eats here in Beaufort, South Carolina. And I went for the grouper po' boy. And Joanne went for the shrimp po' boy. So it looks like a pretty good meal. We'll see how this turns out. So 
So how often do you go to a seafood market and see a fish head eating another fish? It was a shark's head. It was a shark's head, wasn't it? Eating a redfish. <laughs> that was pretty neat. I don't. I think it was a real shark's head too. I don't think yeah, it was like no, it was real. a ceramic one or anything. Yeah, it was real. <laughs> that was pretty good. Good meal. Big piece of grouper on that sandwich. So what's our impressions of Hunting Island State Park Beach? It's beautiful. Not crowded. Not crowded. And shaded by palm trees. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to beat. Can't beat that. No. I think it's the nicest beach I've been to. Probably mostly just because you can sit under the shade of the palm trees. Yeah. And kick back. And it was actually in the sun, it's like um it's like about eighty degrees. So in the sun it's pretty warm. Not hot hot, but warm. But in the, under the trees, it actually was a little cool. Yeah, especially with the yeah the breeze when it came through. That's pretty hard to beat. Well, the drive in and out of Hunting Island State Park is just unreal. So we'll show you a little bit of the what the drive looks like. The like, rangers said people call it Jurassic Park. Yeah, it looks like you're driving through Jurassic Park. Beautiful place.